There's this AI tool that just showed up that is just blowing people away, including myself, with how useful the darn thing is. And so I threw some ideas at it around uh, e-commerce and SEO. It, I found it to be very useful, and I'm using the thing uh, almost daily now. Uh, and I wanted to share with you some, some potential uses here. And so it's called ChatGPT. Currently, it, it's a uh, free open beta, I think is what this is. And it's getting a ton of press, like under here. You know, two hours ago, why everyone's obsessed with this mind-blowing AI chatbot. People are raving about it 20 minutes ago. It'll disrupt industries, Harvard Business Review. Okay, I'm interested. Let's play with it and see if we could find it useful. And so you go to uh, chat.openai.com and you could sign up for it. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't seem to be limited. Uh, you have free research preview. So at some point, I'm sure they're going to have to monetize this thing. But for now... Let us play with it. And it's, yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. You know, hey, how are you doing? And it'll come back with a legit response. Oh, I'm just a computer program. So like, I think that's how a lot of people are using it. But it no, it has access to the internet. It knows things. I mean, like, what is Shopify? And okay, so it's able to look stuff up. It's pretty neat. But if you start getting more creative with the prompts, it gets really good. So if I said, write a four-verse poem about Shopify. Yeah, this thing's incredible. So if it can write rhyming poetry for me, this maybe it could do other things for us too. So we're going to start a new thread up here. And I've got my wife's website WWDW. This is hosted on Shopify. And one of the things I think a lot of people don't love doing is copywriting. And that seems to be what this is good at. So we're going to try this. We're going to say, uh, we're going to have it try and write our title and meta description. So I'm going to copy and paste it. Title and meta description. Write a SEO title and meta description for, and we're going to give it the website. Like, why not? Just Paste the URL in there, see what it does. Look at that. So it's got, got all the good info we need. All right, let's get more specific with it. So now I'm going to say, uh, this says I can do 70 characters. Write a 70 character SEO homepage title for, we'll give it the website again. All right. Well, it looks like it gave me the same one. Okay. Now let's try and do, let's get another meta description out of this thing. So we'll say, write a 320 character homepage meta description for this website. Ah, see, now it's rewriting a different one that was up there. It's pretty good. But what if I got this home page? And I've got, this is what we've been using as our intro paragraph. So let's just say, rewrite the following. And so like, you can give it any phrase and have it rewrite it. It's pretty good. There we go. All right. Helpful. Now, let's do... We've got a very Merry Christmas party. This is a really popular guide right now. And she's got this one-line description. Your complete guide. So we're going to take this guy, and we're going to say, write a short summary of this page. Will that work? I'm not able to browse the web. Okay. All right, I got a better idea. Watch this. Scroll all the way down. That's my wife. I keep scrolling. We're going to copy the article. Whoops. So we're going to copy this article. Fabulous. Ads and all. And we're going to say... Summarize the following... 
and 320 characters or less. Aha. Look at that. This is all correct. I asked for a summary. I gave it the transcript. It did it. I wonder, can it summarize text transcripts? So we're going to take my podcast. We're going to go uh, picking the perfect Shopify theme, transcript, scroll down, and we're going to try this. Write a podcast episode summary of the following based on the following interview transcript. And you could use the same concept for um, all kinds of content. Yeah. It nailed it. That's really good. Yeah, that, having it been the one who uh, conducted this interview, that is a, a accurate summary that it put together there. Okay, what else can we do with it? Uh, hmm, we could try to rewrite some product descriptions. If we go, so let's grab ourselves a product here. Okay. So here we go. I've got this product description. And we're going to say, rewrite the following product description. See what it does. Okay, pretty good. So I may want to use this as a starting point. Rewrite this. I can use this. I've got a summary here. This is fabulous. Now let's try and do rewrite the following product description in the style of Billy Mays. You can give this thing tone. It'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. And so it turns it into like a direct response sales letter. Hi there. Are you ready to make your Disney World vacation the best one yet? You could also give it, like, try and have it write commercials. Like, write a 30-second commercial. Write a 30-second as-seen-on-TV-style commercial for... And we'll give it that same website. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, so if you give it... If you try and have it do something vague or very long that it's going to struggle with. The more specific you get with it, the better. So here I've give it a limit on its length and it's short, right? A 30 second. And I've defined a style for it and given it like, this is what your topic is. And so it works pretty well there. What else can we make this thing do? What if we did a sales letter? Like, um, right A sales, write a sales email for, and we'll do, this is another client site. They sell car detailing stuff. So here I've given it something a little broad. You know, this it got it again. <laughs> That's pretty good. They do in fact sell ceramic coatings and waxes. I've noticed it'll do a lot of like, as it gets further on, it'll say plus and to try and get it to hang together. So for anything long, I would rewrite what it creates. But there, it, it just, with a really vague prompt, gave me a perfectly serviceable plain text sales email. That's great. What other marketing efforts can we put through with this thing. So it works well for writing prompts. It works good if we give it shorter stuff, if we define tone and style, and if we give it um, things to summarize or shorten up, that's where it tends to do well. So it's good for um, summarizing uh, transcripts, long things like that. Uh, it'll work for 
like if you have a really successful blog post, you could try and have it rewrite that, summarize it, um, try and optimize SEO title and meta descriptions because it can rewrite things using character limits, which is where I find it really shines. And maybe we can get it to do, to write like a product description for us. Write an Amazon style, aha, uh-huh. write an Amazon style product listing for Adams Polishes graphene coating. It's a real product. Getting highly specific. Are very similar to the previous thing it wrote for us, even though we gave it a more specific, different prompt. But still, this works. And then we said, hey, do it Amazon style. In Amazon, it'll be like intro, and then it'll be like keyword phrase, keyword benefit phrase, and then followed by a description. It did it. It just created a really, probably pretty good uh, product description for us. Now, the catch is it's able to find, like they have already written product descriptions. They have so much content out there. And so I assume it's able to find and, and work off of that. Um, so if you're in an entirely niche space, it's a product no one's ever heard of, things are going to be tougher here because it needs that source material. But so far, I mean, just tremendous potential here where I think we're going to see this get integrated into a lot of content creation products very quickly, like in the next six to 12 months. Um, and so I think all our tools are going to get a lot smarter. That's quite the arms race we're going to have to deal with. So I would pay attention to this. I would start playing with these things now before everybody else does and you end up feeling left behind because they're, they're fun. It's very cool. And I don't think it's going away, but good luck. Give it a shot and let us know in the comments how it goes. Thank you.